you realize that it is a back to back kind of uh, you know applause that you're doing um, never mind never get worried because we want to do this thing once and for all we'll be looking at a silent song and other stories sample answered essay questions and this one is going to mark our essay six by major mwangi's incident in the park buckle up brace yourself in this particular episode hope this particular work really finds you comfortable finds you serene finds you you know um in your right mood uh because uh if you are really investing into this one then definitely you might find it useful by the end of it in case you're this particular person that you passionately love literature then this is one channel that definitely you don't maybe to hook up yourself with for the future updates and more enlightenment and uh, even as we are really uh, embarking into this. Uh, there's one thing I also want to say that in as far as uh, education is concerned, the, you know, education is evolving. With this particular digital platform, there are many things that you can you can learn through this particular uh, you know, uh, platform. Uh, personally, I'm a beneficiary of this particular platform at different, you know, uh, levels. I've really benefited from this particular platform and I can tell you that find it useful whoever you are out there and uh, i also want to congratulate you because you've been a success because through you we are able to even do these things and we are also trying to better ourselves better our skills um i'm not going to say that i'm the best notch or i'm the top notch uh, maybe uh, orator out there but uh, as time goes by we are uh, really you know uh, blending ourselves trying to fine-tune ourselves the same uh, buckle up, brace yourself, and uh, yeah, let's really look into this particular essay. Uh, previous episodes or previous uploads, we've been really looking at summaries, uh, uh, plot summaries of the same short stories. But in this one here, we are really try, trying to see what are the uh, possible uh, prompts or exam style questions. And we try also to give it an approach. We call them the sample responses that you might find also maybe useful as far as your study is concerned so without that much further ado buckle up uh we are going to dig into it the question straight away and give it a sample response down there lack of courtesy lack of courtesy between the police and civilians leads to lethal conflicts Justify the validity of this statement using illustrations from Major Mongi's incident in the park. Again, lack of courtesy between the police and civilians leads to lethal conflict, dangerous, deadly conflicts rather. Justify the validity of this particular assertion or statement using illustrations from Major Mongi's incident in the park. And that one goes for 20 good marks. Clean. 20 clean marks. Now, across the world, over, oh, first of all, as usual, good student, that is our natty graph, our introductory state, but it doesn't have to be really the work itself, the flesh itself. First of all, we give it an overview, a summary of everything that we are later going to maybe uh, peel them step by step. So first of all, our nut graph. Across the world, over centuries, the behavior of some of the police officers has caused dire repercussions Sometimes this happens due to excessive use of force or simply wrongful application law and policies. But majority of these occurs as a result of impolite acts incident in the park. Uh, uh, incident in the park rather uh, shows how city dwellers, hawkers and loafers find themselves in conflict with the police over flimsy and petty reasons, often ending unpleasantly. With the two constables that is an incident in the park by Major Monkey, those particular two constables, you remember, you read it diligently, you realize that when there are costs, they are cost the fruit peddler. He gets startled and confused. They demand from, for him license and identity card, which he obviously doesn't have. Then he offers five shillings, which doesn't seem really good enough as one constable shrugs. This means that at times, if the offer were attractive, they would really have accepted it and left him alone. Um, and therefore, the police refused to listen to the fruit merchant and harshly shove him 
along the street of the city, telling him that he would explain to the judge. This complicates matters even more because the fruit seller fears the judge more. It throws him into more panic as he has a case that is coming up in the following week and the judge is a tyrant, quote unquote. He explains further that he is selling this time so that he can afford he can afford uh, of me but all his and treat his fall on deaf ears so that he can afford of that particular uh, the judge the money or the whatever the match that he was entitled on the previous case that he had with the judge that he refers to as a tyrant but all his entreaties fall on deaf ears the two constables they heed none or they don't really listen to him they remain unimpressed saying nothing until he breaks away and flees into the crowded city the situation the situation escalates when the constables chase the fleeing man shouting for help from the passersby they actually betroth betroth him into the mob and then a city man intercepts him and another man lung, lunges for him as shouts increase tossed here and there as a suspect the desperate fruit peddler stumbles and falls into a ditch no one seems to care to find out what really is happening before taking action no one listens as he, ple- as he pleads for mercy this is where he meets his verdict which is death according to the crowd justice quote unquote is administered the mob universally condemn him without plausible evidence by the time the police arrive at the scene it is too late the action is irreversible they cannot bring the dead man back to life their action is irreversible and fatal the mob has already killed him for being a thief and that is in quotes they who are supposed to ensure public safety and security have aided the killing of a hard-working hawker by their silly mistake this should not have happened if they had treated the man politely an innocent life is so unnecessarily lost this makes the police or the public lose confidence in the police and that after investigations the truth will come out and it will be hard to trust the police in conclusion this episode has been so short in conclusion wanton conflicts and deaths of innocent citizens could be averted if the police handled matters with courtesy and sobriety sobriety find the meaning of that particular word in the dictionary and please good students let me also learn from you bana niachieni your statement palevo chini under the comment section and i'll try also my best to read through your comments even as you're learning this thing together and good students this also marks the end of this particular tiny episode those are my details those are my details don't forget to get back to me leave me a nice comment down there an inquiry i'll try my best to get back to you at my level best and uh, one good sign never goes unrewarded and uh, you never know when the cravings will strike keep on doing what you're doing keep on keeping on all the best in your endeavors cheers for now